Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you how I made this gorgeous number one cutout sugar cookie cake. I started out by baking a large rectangle sugar cookie and then I traced the number one with parchment paper. I carefully went along the edges and just carefully cut out the shape of the number one. I set aside this extra dough and saved it to make some cookies with. So as you can see here, the corners are definitely the most delicate areas and this left corner was the only place that I had a little bit of breakage at, but it's really okay because you're going to have two number one cutouts and the one that isn't perfect you can use as the bottom or the base. Then I took some icing and I put it on the board in the same shape and this will kind of act as glue so that the cake doesn't move or slide. Next, I began piping the icing on the outline of the cookie and I suggest doing the outline so that you can kind of get a feel of how many rows and lines you want to do of icing. This was my first time icing a cake like this or even piping icing like this. So it definitely wasn't perfect on the bottom layer. I kind of acted as like a practice run. Then since this is the bottom layer, I just filled in the interior just like this, kind of flooded it, and then I added some fresh strawberries. Then I placed a second sugar cookie on top and I used a large spatula on the bottom and my hand on the top and just really supported it so that it didn't crack or break anywhere. And this is what the cake looks like from the side. I then did the top layer of icing. So I did the same method. I did the outline first and then I just went all the way throughout the cake with piping the icing like this. This is what the finished icing looks like and I was really happy with how it turned out. The little dollops are really cute and almost resembled Hershey Kisses. <laughs> I made these chocolate covered strawberries the day before. I'm gonna use those and these toppings right here to top the cake with and here comes the best part, decorating. So I started by placing two flowers in the corners and then I kind of just went from there. I took a macaroon and I used the icing as glue again and I kind of did a flower, a macaroon, and then another topping and I kind of just followed that order throughout the cake. Um, you can always place it if you don't like it. It's just icing. You can move it or put something on top. It's not that permanent and you can just really have fun with this part of it. As you can see here, I placed a strawberry in the corner and then I later moved it because it was just a little too crowded and you'll get the hang of it as you go. And like I said, you know, it's just icing. You really just need to have fun with it and be creative. Um, this is kind of the halfway point that I did. And sometimes if people don't really like the full toppings, I can do like a little bit less, but this cake was for my niece and I wanted to really deck it out because it was for her first birthday party. I finished the cake off by adding more toppings. This was my first time making a cake like this and I was really, really happy with how it turned out and how everything came together. This is the finished product. Overall, I was really happy with how it turned out. You know, the vision I had in my mind, I was actually able to execute it and make that come to life, which is always a great feeling. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate the support. And if you live locally and you're interested in a cake like this or any other dessert, please reach out to me. My contact info is in the description of this video. I used a glass to cut out perfect circles of the leftover dough. I topped it with some leftover icing and some sprinkles. This is the cake once it's delivered and placed with the other desserts. Please be sure to like, subscribe, and get notified anytime I upload a video. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.